Hi guys, welcome to this short video about the question what has happened when you are in this situation and what your options are. I mean, it's saying for security and uh, performance, this mode of Windows only runs verified apps from the store. So yeah, this is obviously a Windows 10 home version, not a pro version. And it's an S version, so it's Windows 10 Home S usually, and this prevents from installing anything else than from the Microsoft Windows Store. And but this, this can be changed. I don't know why sellers are installing this. My assumption is that maybe they get these versions cheaper because it's some kind of uh, directing all the users to the Microsoft Store and then they are likely to buy more stuff and maybe yeah they can really install these uh, versions for free and maybe they think uh, they won't install so many things so it would uh, stay cleaner over long time and cause less problems and uh, have better performance so it means less complaints but I'm not sure about that so because actually from user perspective it's a huge disadvantage when you have this so we need to solve this issue so here is a thing still want to run uh, this unverified app I mean I have been trying to download Google Chrome and then it came up with this uh, message here because I have the Windows 10 Home S version and here we can click and then we uh, are guided to the Microsoft Store and you can see what you can do in the S mode and when you uh, what you can do uh, when you switch out of course it's showing you advantages but uh, overall uh, at the end you want to switch out so this is uh, very easy you just click get here and you have to log in if you are not already logged in into a Microsoft account when you set up the Windows sometimes Windows uh, is allowing you to set up the Windows system without the Microsoft account and then you have to either log in here or make an account here I am already logged in so it's not asking me but in a lot of situations it's saying some something happens on our end but don't be worried just try over and over and usually finally you will uh, get the thing yeah you can see it's working here you are all set close and we can now try to download the Google Chrome. We click again here. Let's see if it works. Accept install. And you can see we can run it from here. And the S is gone. So we opted out of the S. And what's also important, what I highly recommend to do is to hit the Windows key. I mean, you hit here and start typing update and then you can see the Windows update go there check for updates and usually after switching from the S version to the uh, not S version there are updates available you can see that here it's saying yeah everything's up to date uh, but after switching now from the S uh, to the non S version sometimes there are updates available so let's check on that yeah, and it's same thing here so you can see it starts downloading things so it looks like Windows needs to do some upgrades updates after you opt out of the S version I don't know why it's not done automatically but I highly recommend to do that here and just uh, keep updating till you have the green check mark again but it's actually everything really easy straightforward free but of course you cannot change to the windows 10 pro but at least now you are out of jail and you can download whatever you want and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or better solutions or whatever you have please write everything down into the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time